So as we conclude, let's keep in mind a certain question. Slide 13. <laughs> what is the role of Christian community in the practices of evangelism or in the drafting of statements? What are you taking from here? Is our missiological thinking shaped more by top-down statements from the leadership of international organizations, or do we genuinely work towards a more participative, bottom-up approach to how we think and practice Christian mission and evangelism, a way to get to the narratives? Is there a way to talk about mission that is truly global without being so in a top-down sort of way? that genuinely takes into account the particularity of the story of Jesus himself while affirming that the justice he brings is indeed for all of creation. What are the ways in which we engage with those of other faiths that open up possibilities for friendship, trust, justice, and love so that our life-giving God may be known? Rosalie promised you that we'd tell the story of Pooh. Pooh is um, a young lady. She is a very short young lady. Uh, we met her last week. We were in Pattaya in Thailand at a conference and met who? Delightful, cheerful, bubbly girl. But she comes from north of Thailand, and as you, some of you all know, Pattaya is sort of down in the coastal region in the middle. Um, she came from a poor family. She'd been in a very abusive uh, marriage and she moved to Pattaya with a dream of becoming a chef and a cook and couldn't get a job and ended up as one of the 30,000 women involved in the sex trade in Pattaya. It was the only way for her to survive. It was while walking the beach one night she met a bunch of short-term white American missionaries who didn't know what they were doing and weren't doing it very well and gave out pizza. And that simple act helped change her life. Because while she was walking on the beach one night she had a vision of God. She discovered Jesus found the stories of Jesus with its liberating and transformative power, and that changed Pooh's life. Her response was full on to Jesus. She's now running a ministry to prostitutes in Pattaya, helping get them out of prostitution. set that up by herself. She's running a small business to fund it that she set up by herself because she has encountered the power of Jesus. It's transformed her and it should, like it did for the teenager, transform us. If Jesus is all that we set out to be in the Gospels, everyone but everyone needs to know about it. So, three last questions. Is this what the church is about? What are the ways in which God's Spirit is working in your part of the world, in your particular context? And what are the stories that challenge and inspire your community to be more Christ-like? For the challenge for us today is to learn how to tackle these questions together, how to listen and discern God's calling upon the church today and not to let the voices of power, or violence, or institutional authority drown out the still, small, quiet voice of God's Spirit. Thank you very much.